Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the live Total OS Today show podcast, courtesy of the Linux Distro Community.com. Now, this is a weekly live podcast here on the LDC. You are welcome to join the community as a guest. I will post the links below in the show notes for the Linux Distro Community.com. But tonight, just a short uh, podcast about um, something that I call Comments Corner, comparing, trying to compare Ubuntu with Windows 7. Uh, Comments Corner is something I do sporadically. It's just me basically commenting on some of your comments. I will not mention any names, just random comments. But on tonight's show, we have Gumbo Man, we have Raven, we have uh, Spatry, and of course, myself. Hello. Ta- Hello, Spatry, and myself, Toss Today. Gumbo Man, would you like to get us started quickly with the first comment? It says, Ubuntu is given by Linux, therefore it's Linux that owns or distributes it. I don't really care who helped with it. I know the place to get it. Um, I have to say that uh, Linux is, I think that Linux itself is just the kernel and people build off of the kernel. Like uh, uh, every um, uh, distro is based off of something, based off another distro like Debian or Ubuntu or Red Hat or is totally made from scratch like Gentoo or Arch. I get a lot of uh, comments, not just on this video, which is Ubuntu uh, uh, 11.04 versus Windows 7, uh, comments concerning gaming. Now, for me, I, you know, I, I don't play any PC games. Uh, for me, my Xbox 360 handles all my games, so I would probably have to give the edge to uh, Windows 7 right now. But I know there's been talk about you know, Steam uh, and Valve. Uh, Spatry, you have uh, some experience with gaming on Linux. How do you see it? Well, the thing is, uh, there's a lot of wonderful options for gaming in Linux. I mean, um, what can I say? Uh, at, it's not going to run every single Windows game out there. But the thing is, you know, I've heard some people say that wine completely stinks. And if you say that, that's because then you haven't played enough with it. Because I've been able to get a lot of games working natively and a lot of applications working natively in Linux using the wine platform. There are many front ends that make it easy for you. We're getting Steam very soon, so we're going to have a bunch of games. Plus, we've got the humble indie bundles. I mean, there are so many options out there. And I mean, hey, gaming on Linux is here to stay. It's getting bigger, it's getting better, and you're powerless to stop it. All right, Spatchy, don't get steamed over Steam, okay? <laughs> Raven, do you play games on Linux? No, I actually do play some games on Linux. Uh, now and again, the likes of Open Arena uh, and a couple of other uh, native Linux games. But yeah, when it comes to games, basically, uh, yeah, native Linux games do the job for me in general. But I used to play, you know, uh, you know just your normal sort of Windows games and, uh, you know, the virtual machine sort of thing uh, using Linux. But uh, yeah, but primarily, no, just uh, native Linux games and that's about it. Okay, I have a comment here. Um, one of the comments uh, stated something like, uh, why complain that it is in Windows? If you want to use Windows, Windows is the OS that looks the most like Windows. You know what, I, I've i gotten comments like this before. I'm, I'm just trying to compare an, an alternative to, uh, you know, Windows, whether it be Ubuntu, Linux. Uh, I currently use also Linux uh, Mint, the Mate or Mate edition you know this uh you know i'm just trying to give a fair unbiased comparison between the two not necessarily telling a windows person to delete or switch over but just to let you know you meaning windows folks that there are choices out there and who knows you may wind up using ubuntu more than you use windows 7 which in all honesty that's what i'm doing right now or they could give the likes of zoran a bit of a go which resembles windows 7 quite closely or they could use like a Kubuntu, which operates, um, or like some KDE-ish, which operates similar to Windows. Linux Mint 13 with the XFCE desktop for the win. Microsoft and Apple want people to stay ignorant about how the computer makes those birds with a bad attitude fly across the screen. Ubuntu, welcome. Oh, just like that. Yeah. And, uh, Me too. Ubuntu welcomes and almost force feeds you knowledge without you ever realizing it. Gee, I sell, I feel like a child being force fed this information now, but really force feeds? 
Well, the fact of the matter is, um, Microsoft and App you, Apple do want you to um, compute their way, where Ubuntu gives you the freedom to compute the way you want to. You're going to have this knowledge, and you're going to like it. Well, knowledge is goes. power. If somebody yeah. Yeah, go. If you go at, sorry, if you go out and buy a brand new computer, that's your cold hard cash. You know what I mean. And you go out and buy that piece of hardware that you want to use. Well, your everyday use is in terms of a computer. You pay money for that. That item is yours. That is your hardware. Therefore, you should be entitled to run that hardware and use that hardware to its full potential the way that the user wants it, not primarily the way that the majority of the proprietary so, uh, the proprietary operating system countries uh, sorry uh, operating system companies want you to use it so yes if you want total control over your system and for your hardware to work the way that you want it linux is the clear winner definitely because yeah um you're in full control of your system there is an old saying that goes linux automatically assumes you know what you're doing Okay, let's see. We have uh, one here. Ubuntu Unity is the most difficult GUI ever. You will never know how to use it to do basic stuff un until you read a book or manual. I like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could just read Spatry's manual of of Unity. Uh, it's 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 free. Um, but no, um, I like. It says and and it continues. I like GNOME. It's way better. Really, uh, Unity was the reason why I shifted to Debian. Okay, I think the reason why people do not like Linux in general, in general, is that it's GUI. Uh, GNOME KDE is not as beautiful as Windows or Mac OS. Uh, don't know about that one. Uh, <sighs> yeah, hold, hold hold that thought. Uh, but in performance and stability, Linux rocks, and that's why I'm using it and will continue to do. Okay, what say you guys on the uh, GUI thing? Um, all I have to say to that person is Compiz Fusion. Thank you. <laughs> all I can say is I can do more than change my wallpaper. Yep, indeed, indeed, do. Yeah, apparently this person doesn't know what he's talking about because uh, the uh, Ubuntu Unity uh, is very easy to use. As you will see in my bootcamp series that's coming up. Sorry, I don't mean to plug, plug my uh, bootcamp series, but um, the thing is... Uh, Unity is not that hard to use, and if you don't like it, you can go into the Ubuntu Software Center and download the desktop that you want to use. Uh, they have XFCE, they have KDE, they have uh, um, they have just about every desktop that you can think of in its repository. So download it, install it, and use it, and play to your heart's content. Yeah, plus they also have um, Linux derivatives like uh, Kubuntu that has KD by default, Lubuntu which has LXE by default, and Zubuntu which has XFCE by default. Yeah, but why have, you know, why download one of these other spin offs of Ubuntu? Well, they're, I guess they're official canonical releases when you can actually, um, you know, um, you know, when you can actually, you know, download and install several different desktops, it's sort of like a sore dink. You can't beat it. Yeah, um, but I think that a lot of uh, Windows people are uh, driven away by the look of Unity. If they would know about the derivatives, then I'm pretty sure that they'll find something that they like. I mean, you might have your, you know, your normal user that might just think, well, okay, I don't know, I, you know, I don't care what my desktop looks like as long as my system works and I can use it. But at the end of the day, every every average day user does get bored with the plain look of a desktop environment, if it be Windows or Mac. You know what I mean? And with Linux, it, there's so many desktop environments more than you could poke a stick at, and, and I'm sure that the the, many, the amount of many choices available would satisfy the majority of users that do come to Linux. Well, speaking of looks, there was a comment here that says, really, who gives a bleep about the wallpaper that comes with it? My reply, I do. His reply, just download the wallpaper of your choice, you Muppet. All I can say is I thoroughly enjoy watching Sesame Street also. Thank you. <laughs> necessarily, you would. I thought that was me. Necessarily, you're not a big bird, are you? He's Can Oscar you tell me how to get how to get to Unity Street? Don't quit your day job. Oh. Yes, with a couple of veggie Vegemite sandwich. <laughs> yes, uh, Vegemite and Unity—it's one heck of a combination, right? Okay. 
Not, not a sponsor. Uh, yeah. Nah. All I could say is, uh, empty jar, oil sump, fill jar, closed lid, shelf. Um, oh, I got one. Go ahead. I have a guy here saying that he runs Zorin OS, and under Windows Beta 8, I can get World of Warcraft running at 120 frames per second. Under Zorin, I can hit 277 uh, in a uh, 5 uh, manual rate. It looks like he's got a RAID configuration here. I can't understand. He's got poor gram grammar here. Uh, just far smoother operating system than Windows. Windows has so much useless shiznits. Well, I can say... <laughs> <laughs> go right, go ahead. Yeah, and, uh, well, all I have to say is, yes, you're probably right. Many Windows applications do run a lot better under Linux uh, using Wine. And then, of course, uh, and then of course, uh, we've already read articles um, that Steam has been doing benchmarks comparing uh, the performance of games running on Windows versus Linux, and they've actually found that they're getting faster frame rates and that sort of thing running under Linux. Hey, so more power to it. And I mean, Linux is is great for gaming. It, well, it's great for you for everyday use, whatever you're going to use a computer for. So definitely, um, you know, and I wouldn't be surprised in the next decade if uh, you know, uh, Linux eventually does come up and become uh, a premier choice for people. Uh, here's a comment that says, um, most are fine with, uh, with change to a certain point. Like 99% of people prefer Windows 7 style to XP or Vista, even though it is fairly different. Most people actually like change as long as it is for a point slash improves something and is done gradually. I have one here that says, um, actually Linux is a lot better than Windows. It's fully customizable, lighter on system requirements, more reliable, faster, more power powerful, more user friendly, and the help you get when you run into a problem is just better. I'm running XFCE in Zubuntu right now and all the things I've been running and working would not work with Windows on the same system. It's the fastest thing to boot up and it never lets me down. In the 10 plus years I've used Windows, it has always been a useless waste of money. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I figure Spatry would like this one, but uh, XFCE is definitely fast, right Spatry? I'd have to say so. Uh, XFCE um, is a lightweight desktop, helps me get the job done quick quicker. Um, you know, it's even better. I also like uh, open box, you know. All right, I got one here for you. And uh, actually, this one uh, was within the uh, past month. Uh, somebody went and asked, is Ubuntu Apple? And uh, <laughs> Total OS Today replied, no. And then uh, somebody else jumped in and replied to saying, Ubuntu is made by Linux. And then somebody else replied to that saying, Canonical is not Linux. Here's my response. I am Linux. <laughs> Go, just, just do a search for Spatry and you'll find Linux all over, uh, you know, a Google search for Spatry. And you'll find Linux links all over the place on the internet. There's another comment here. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Spatry. There's another comment here I don't understand. Do you pay for Ubuntu? I want to see price. And I just want to say, I went to site, it said download, but no price. And is it stable for gaming? All those questions that you have, I've got one simple answer. Yes. And the other answer is free, open source, free as, free as, as a beer and chips. Indeed. Free... Um, let's do a couple more. Now, there's over a thousand comments here, folks. We can't possibly do them all. So let's do a couple more. Then I guess we'll call it a night. Are, are, have you guys heard the commercial, well, maybe here in the States, the one that says, hello, this is Peggy about the, the it's the one with the credit card? Huh? No, I haven't seen that. Okay. Raven, it's, it's the one that's, uh, oh, Spatch, where's my, where's my cricket sounds? <laughs> no, but Raven, it's a commercial for a credit card company where you call for questions about your credit card and some guy answers in like the Ukraine and yes. he answers it that says, hi, hello, this is Peggy. How can I help you? And, 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 and it is. Oh, I remember that. And Raven, it's a scam. 
So you follow? Okay, yes, 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 I follow. Yep. Here I'll we follow. go. Here's the comment, and it's a joke. Hello, this is Peggy. What you say again? This is Microsoft, and he has the dollar symbol. This is micro dollar symbol call center, or please press one if this is your problem, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and security on Linux? Wow, pop in the live CD, the one that Windows doesn't make, and do all of your banking through that. Good luck hacking that, laughing out loud. I just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> But yet, those commercials with Peggy. Hello, this is Peggy. Right. But the thing, the, the fact of the matter is, yes, do your banking on a live CD. And uh, odds are people aren't going to be able to hack you too easily. So, I mean, there's a lot of truth in the laughter there. All right. Well, let's wrap this up with one more each. Uh, Gumbo, let's start with you. Um, all right. Here's one that says, first of all, Windows XP will always be the best operating system ever, but I'm really liking Ubuntu. I would have to disagree. I hated Windows XP because every time I touch Windows, I always get greeted with the good old blue screen of death. It always hangs over my head, no matter what Windows I use. Windows just doesn't seem to like me very much. I'm just referring to wine and getting back to the gaming thing. Yeah, I'm just putting a comment here. Yes, Wine and some other programs that will bring them across when it comes to the transitioning between Windows and Linux. It runs better, but not in all cases. I know a lot of people that use Wine to bring World of Warcraft into Linux because they prefer to run it on their systems. Yes, as we're getting back to what Spatrick was saying before, there are some applications that do run a lot better under a Linux operating system using Wine. And don't forget... One is not an emulator, it's a compatibility layer. Just wanted to get that clear for the new users out there. One is not an emulator, it's a compatibility layer. It's battery. So, if one likes Windows, they're a fanboy. And if they like Linux, they're not? The double standards are laughable. I think Toss Today did a fine balance comparison. I use both Ubuntu and Windows 7. I've never had a virus, malware, crash, freeze up, etc. On Windows 7 for the two years I've been using it. It's a totally solid OS in spite of what the deranged Linux fanboys want to argue. Keep up the good work, Total OS, today. Well, if you maintain your Windows operating system, especially Windows 7, I think it was the most rock solid release they came out with. Um, if you can maintain your operating system well, yes, you will get good performance out of it. I, on the other hand, had some bad experience in Windows 7. I downloaded a number of viruses after buying a brand new computer that already had an antivirus installed. They managed to creep in. Of course, then again, I had Norton. And the one thing I learned is don't use Norton because it's not as reliable as uh, some would uh, tend to uh, say it is. But, you know, when I've... In the time that I've been using Linux and and I, I look at Windows 7, uh, to be honest with you, I really think Linux is a lot better for me personally. But at the end of the day, it's about choice. You use the operating system that you want to. Yeah. Uh, this is a commentator replying to another commentator, not to myself directly, but I'll just shorten it up. This is what it says. Dude, not all the six billion people on Earth know how to use the command lines. <laughs> I read that one earlier. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is why Ubuntu can't overtake Windows. Well, Linux, Ubuntu has gone easier. You really don't have to use the command line like, like Spatry does 24-hour shift, okay? Now, well, actually... Someone... Oh, go ahead, Raven. Now, if someone can do a Google search when under you know the, the Windows user of their Windy, using Windows Seven, if they could do a Google search for an application to go to a website that they can download and install, one can learn to use it. Op uh, one to, one can learn to use a command line. You know, you know what's really funny when uh, I had problems in Windows, I'd go and do a Google search to find the answer to the problem, and instead of getting an answer. Uh, I would get links to applications that I could buy that would fix the issue. Whereas in Linux, I would find answers that would tell me, this is the command you issue in a terminal. Now, Alan Pope gave me a good challenge. On my show, he suggested that I do everything from a graphical user interface. 
without using the terminal because uh, some people feel that the terminal can be a little bit daunting. But if there's something that um, I can show where I can show you that, yes, it is easy to do on a graphic user interface, but look how much easier it is to do it in a terminal, I will do those comparisons. So I'll be able to show you how to do it this way and then this way, and then you decide which way you want to do it. Fair enough. Okay, one last comment, then we'll wrap it up. Now, this is, again, one commentator to another commentator, not to myself. <laughs> this is kind of funny. It says... Linux is only free if your time is worthless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. my gosh. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Oh, well. Stabbed in the heart. Uh, well, that's totally unfair, obviously. Um, now, granted, some uh, Linux-based OSs like Arch and stuff like that, it does require a lot more of my time of your time it's not for mm -hmm. movies but that is a broad general statement yeah. maybe some linux uh, may, may make your time worthless but not ubuntu definitely not i'll tell you what oh. i've had to do you know and i and i have run arch for quite some time and now i'm running uh manharo uh also uh next to uh linux mint i can tell you all the time that i've spent in linux has been a wonderful learning experience and uh you know, that if you really want to know what makes a computer tick, using Linux is really the way to go. And the thing is, it is not as difficult as some people want to make you think that it is. Okay, let's wrap this up. Raven, you were going to say something? Yes, all I could say is that would one want to waste their time doing virus scans and malware scans to fix a virus that might potentially wreck their system or continue to do product, pro, uh, you know, continue to be pro, uh, productive uh, on a virus-free uh, system. That's all I've got to say in regards to that. I'd rather utilize my time doing something uh, productive rather than, you know, worrying, uh, biting my fingernails as right. it says I'm worried, to get, wor worried about getting rid of the virus. Um, I have a final statement. Um, yeah. I just have to say that if... All right, I've been using Linux since I was 12. And by when I was 13, I was able to do uh, most tasks tasks, but um, using Ubuntu now as compared to back then, well, I'm not currently using Ubuntu, but I have to say that it's gotten a heck of a lot easier to use, and if a young, uh, nitwit, stupid teenager like me can figure it out, then you can figure it out too. May the open source be with you. Yeah, and uh, well, going along the same vein that Raven was saying, um, I'll have to agree that there were some viruses that I've downloaded where I had to just completely wipe the hard drive and then spend all that time not only reinstalling Windows, but looking up all these different files, downloading them, install, reboot, wash, rinse, and repeat. And sometimes it would take a day to restore my system, and not even close to what I had previously, whereas in Linux I haven't had that much downtime at all. So... Yeah, I I definitely say my time is very valuable to me, and uh, Linux gives me more time to do the work than I need to do to get the job done, rather than mucking about uh, like you do in Windows. I've got one more comment, just one yes. more quick comment. Uh, Manharo for the win, Spetri. Yes, Manharo is very nice, and uh, actually I'm keeping an eye on its development, and uh, by I'll be getting a new computer here in the next few weeks, and uh, it is going to run Manharo. Gentlemen, this was fun, and it was clear that with uh, we, we, we simply could not read all of these comments, all of them, but it was clear that with some of these comments, it was clear that some of the brain cells were not fully working at the time. But just to uh, <laughs> let... Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. But just to let the Linux community know that some Windows users, like myself, also can be brain dead i'll let the listeners in on, on a little secret i forgot to hit the record button at 9 p.m so we redid the re, the uh podcast and this is the testament to the show guest tonight uh we redid it and kept right on talking without missing a single beat i want to big thanks to all the guests tonight who stuck around a little bit later for this windows dummy at least for this evening thank you all of you you're welcome bud Thanks welcome. for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us, Total Loss, today. Now, can I go back to bed?
Uh, you can, and if you would like to make a joke about what happened before, I will allow you tonight. If not, then go back to bed. All Too right, much Reggie Watt. Uh, <laughs> Reggie Watt, yeah, right. Too much windows in your brain. I think you had a blue screen uh, when you did that. <laughs> blue screen brain. <laughs> Reggie <Bot. laughs> I thought you were my friends. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey. Reggie Watt's credit of death. Hey, I actually did an episode in the Ubuntu boot camp where I actually did everything in that episode in Windows. So, you know, I mean, uh, you'll never hear me say don't use Windows, don't use Mac, you know, don't use this distribution, don't really use that. Well, no, you will hear me say don't use this distribution, you know, because I, I know I did. I said that with uh, Pear and Comice and that sort of thing. But that's the horse stable OS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Speaking about um, horse stable OS's, I may be stirring a, may be stirring a distro watch. Nest, but um, I tried the latest pair OS and, I, and it actually wasn't that bad. Raven, what you got? Sorry, speaking about horse stable OS's Spatry, you visited it not long ago. It's there's another updated release of it. All I could say, distro watch. Uh oh, now I'm just dying to see which one it was. Thank you, Gumbo Man. Thank you, Raven. Thank you, Spatry, for all of you for sticking around a little bit later. I apologize. I'll send all you guys an extra box of Vegemite next week, and we'll catch Blah. all. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Spatry, are you cruising for a bruising? Hey, just send me the anchovy flavored ice cream, and I'll be happy. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I need that. Oh, God. Uh, I, I will not sleep good tonight. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The new anchovy and feta cheese ice cream, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm, with Vegemite on top. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for listening to the right, Jokes guys. podcast. We'll catch you next week. Adios. Gotta go, guys. So, yeah, I've got to go AFK for a bit. I'll be back soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Goodbye.